Hi all, for today's video, I will talk about how I passed the Google Associate Cloud Engineer certification. Because the last 7 days, I was completely preparing and focused on the Google Cloud Engineering SO exam. So that was the reason I didn't get a time to uh, take the video and upload in the YouTube. So that was the reason. So this is a good examination when we are entering into the Google Cloud platform because uh, we are we already know the Azure, AWS and Google Cloud. These are the cloud technologies highly popular in the market, in the IT industry. If we get some certification and if we acquire some knowledge in the Google Cloud certification or any kind of certification, it will add on our uh, bio and that means in the resume and our the profile means pr personal profile so that is the reason i decided to take a one certification in the gcp previously i was uh, certified in the azure azure data engineering and azure fundamental that was i completed but uh, in the new year i think i need to take a new cloud technology to improve my skills so i will tell you the overall pattern i will tell you actually uh, once i complete the examination i didn't know how many score i get so i they clearly mentioned like that uh, we cannot display any kind of uh, score in the because uh, it was 50 questions are there and out of 50s we need to score 700 because 700 percentage uh, score we need to pass the exam then only we will display as the pass pass the exam uh, so i think we, they, we didn't get any kind of information which area we uh, pass and which area we fail or that kind of uh, information we didn't get the uh, google uh, screen so that was the one uh, thing i just feel because I, when i completed the examination i felt like that i will get the uh, scorecard when I want to try to improve right so that will be better but I didn't get that one just display the pass your examination was completed and I will get uh, one certification after the 7 to after 7 to 10 working days so that they clearly man mentioned and uh, the duration of the course was 2 hours and 15 minutes the 15 minutes I check out and uh, uh, there is some uh, online this was online I completed this examination in my home and there is some separate uh, on view examination like that so that i downloaded in my computer and close all the browsers or all the things in behind the uh, computer because they are checking is there any firewall was running in behind the screen and uh, there is any uh, skype or anything something like that be, uh, running on the thing so then only they want to disable because they need to full control over that particular software then only they can monitor right once i enter this one one chap, uh, support uh, support people come and check to ask to show all the walls all the four walls in my room because they want to know this examination i would uh, take in a uh, comfortable and a trusted zone that is the reason and they want to uh, check me like show the table and all i show everything uh, need to identity proof show the identity proof also because they want to know i am the right person uh, taking the examination that is the reason they want to show that identity proof also once I completed that one I can enter the enter the question and I, I got the question but one thing I noticed that we need a peaceful mind when uh, when we are appearing the examination because most of the questions are tricky and when we read the uh, question we need to know some uh, because we are a bit confusing this is the answer this is because um, one question there is a four options are available we need to choose the appropriate one so that is the content of the examination and there are 50 questions i already mentioned there are 15 questions and we have two hours of time once we complete this one we, there is an option to review because once we complete the answer there is an option to review also because some some question we are feeling like it is not like that right so that is the reason there is an all, also one more thing is review we can click on the review and later stage we can check if the answer is correct or not we can think in a peaceful mind we will get we can answer all the questions that is the advantages of the google cloud associated cloud engineer exam so this is my feeling okay so once i complete this one uh, i feel it is quick uh, difficult but i got the scorecard it was when i saw that it was uh, i was passed on the exam i was really happy then i will tell you some of the questions uh, coming from the part so 
uh, most of them of the we need to know the deep understanding of the cloud compute engine so that is the one and deep understanding of the kubernetes engine and app engine uh, cloud function these these are the main thing we need to know because most of the questions are coming from these uh, these spaces and the preemptible vms uh, different kinds of vms and their advantages and the thing is the cost effective method how the cost effective apply and the next one the different roles are there in the iam policy i am role there are different roles are there each role has each role has different uh, access item or different criteria so that also very important when you are preparing for this examination and some of the list uh, some of the uh, command so that is used in the particular thing so that also very important so these are the main thing we, when you are preparing to this examination the already in the google there is a providing some hands on lab also because i am get a environment from the ey so that is an add on advantages for me so i try to some of the examples there then i come back to this one and preparing using the exam topics also because i want to know how the question will come so that is the reason i am just checking on the exam topic it gives me uh, it gave me an idea how the questions are coming and how we want to know this one so that kind of idea i got and i completely go through almost three times in the all the questions because uh, each question i already mentioned questions are tricky so our memory sometimes uh, sometimes confusing so we need to know some kind of thing every time we need to repeat the question and uh, fix it on the mind so that is the only thing we uh, make sure before the examination and um, online pro act uh, proctor proctored exam so that was the one i choose uh, on because um, when they taking from the uh, offices or taking from the examination center also available but i am not choose that one i choose online one so it was good and um, yeah they recommended 6 months of hand on experience on the google cloud okay that they mentioned because it more focused on the uh, application part so that is the reason they mentioned 6 months of minimum experience uh, yeah so that is the thing we want to know so i i took summarize so what are the things when you are going to the google cloud examination the first one you want to go and check the all the youtube videos and some kind of helpful youtube resources first you can check and check out in udemy courses which are available in the udemy some uh, gcp cloud and free youtube courses are available i already mentioned i already mentioned in this video which course is good is a completely free and uh, check out the google cloud hands on lab for this examination that is also available in the google Uh, platform and you can check out one uh, google cloud platform in your own personal computer and different kinds of scenarios you can test and uh, go through the exam topic and the three times you want to go these are the main thing you want to go before the examination i think hope you are clear if you have any doubt you can comment below uh, i will definitely answer